Hi, this is Lokesh Kumar from Informatica PIM Supporting. Today we would like to show you how to install PIM Multitrail database of version 8.0.6.0.1. This is part 1 of installation of PIM Multitrail overview and we are going to cover following topics. To start with agenda, we are going to see what is introduction about audit trial, then what exactly use of audit trial in PIM, then we are going to walk through sets of audit trial full installation and at last we are going to show you installation of audit trial database which is a part one of the video so introduction of audit trial so what exactly is audit trial audit trial is a process of recording all data engines in any data engine here audit trial is a process of recording all data changes in HPM that is PIM data engine audit trial creates a persisted history of all data modifications by storing it in a database and retrieving it so the main use of audit trail in BIM are to keep track of the changes made to entities or entity types and to know when the creation and changes are have been done to entities in a table form which is storing at the database side. So to know the changes done to entities and act based on the changes in system by administrator user. Here we are stressing it as an, as an admin admin user which means the audit trail feature is enabled only in which client it is not available in PIM web client because the end users and it is not an expected scenario where the end users track the changes done to the data or, uh, by the other users so it is not a good one to provide the feature that need to be available for the end users so only administrator or admin user of the organization or department who has access to rich client only they can track the changes and act upon the data accordingly by uh, uh, by restoring or going back uh, to the data in a older form if something goes wrong. In case if administrator user want to give privileges then he has to provide the rich client access to few users and, and they should work accordingly. And the other use of audit trial is it provides the rows with entity type uh, what are the entity type change whether it's a new thing or a new creation entity uh, type information or it is in it is a existing data change or what are the fields affected and the change of and the change type whether it's a creation or a modification and the date or time stamp of exactly when the data has been changed and which user has modified it along with the old and new values will be provided as a part of feature where audit trial works with uh, with the use of with the use of this audit trial feature you can track these changes by the administrator user and the most important use of audit trail is it performs asynchronously and does not block any data management operations. So prerequisites for audit trail installation. You need to have a PIM server running where you will connect your PIM rich client to the PIM server and then use the audit trail feature. And next one is message queue which is a bridge between a PIM server and the audit trail database. If PIM server goes down uh, by after modification of changes then this message will be sent by PIM server before going down uh, and the message will be gone to message queue and then from message queue it will be decued to audit trail database so once the PIM server is up so nothing goes wrong so make sure the message queue is up and running so that the tra changes track uh, will be sent from PIM server via message and we are going to cover the message queue installation in part 2 which is just a single step of unzipping it and running the start startup.batch file uh, to run it as a from a console or you can use ins install it as a service by using this install services dot batch file the next one is you should have a audit trail database and then followed by audit trail server installation which we are going to cover in part 2 so part 1 which is installation of audit trail database so to install audit trail database first you need to edit the server dot properties file which comes within a package with all the correct parameters values at it and then you need to run the setup underscore console dot batch file which is present under bin directory of trail installation root path once you get a log project message as or as a audit trail server started message then you need to press enter to return and then type db install command followed by confirmation of creation of database which uh, then audit trail database uh, will be created by the pim audit trail scripts in case of oracle user you need to follow few changes which i will show you that in my local environment so this is my local environment where I have PIM audit trial 
dot zip file for 8461 which I downloaded from my support portal just extract it where you can see um, there are two packages inside it one is for Linux environment the other one for Windows environment I want to going to install a retail server on Windows so just extract the retail server of Windows to any desired location say here I'm download uh, so here 8061 So once you extract it, we can see a folder called AT server which is audit trial server. Just go inside it under configuration audit trial server. You see there are two server.properties template. I want to go to go, I want to go with the installation of audit database on SQL server. So I am going to rename the uh, server.template of MS SQL 2008. In case if you want to go with Oracle, then you can rename the server.properties template of Oral 11G. So after renaming it to server properties, just edit it. So let me explain you each property. So desktop host. This is the uh, you, which this takes the host name of uh, audit trail server where you want to run. Currently, I want to run the audit trail server on local environment, which is the same VM. So I will just keep it as local host. The database type is MS equal 2008, and then just keep this property aside then db.audit.schema the name of the audit trail schema i want to name it as hpm 80601 underscore audit trial then backup file name then db.audit.server so db.audit.server uh, you need to provide the host name of uh, of a vm or a host name of the system where you have uh, sql server up and running where you want to install the database I, uh, in case if you want to install the database and audit trail server both on the same environment then you just keep it as same which is dollar desktop host where it takes the desktop host parameter from here but i want to install the audit trail database on a different environment and audit trail server on different environment that means i want to install audit trail server on local host but i want to install the database on a remote vm so i'll just remove this and provide the host name where i want to install the database so which is my remote machine where I want to where I have SQL server up and running and I want to install database there then the db.auditor.port default port of SQL server then db.auditor.server yeah, of, of dot user which is the user uh, with which the PIM will try to log into SQL server and create the scripts and it will create the schema using this user so HPM Hiller I created it on SQL server of remote VM so I provide the username and password here so in case if you don't want to use this one you want to go with windows authentication you need to enable the property integrated.security by default it's false if you make it to true that means it will authenticate again as the database with the windows user in case if you don't want that then you need to use the corresponding user.password if you make it to false it will take the username and password from here from these parameters if you make it to true it will not take the user and password from these two parameters then the next one is auditel.directory.local so you where you want to have the dba files and the database log files on the remote vm i want to uh, have it on d drive auditel.db dash ms sql on the remote database and save it so these are the other parameters where you want to maintain the name of the data log file temps variable space and the database default size and the growth and debug dot show sql so when you are running the scripts whether you want to show it as a, a debug mode or not i have set it to false since it takes uh, data a long data in a text file to create it i don't want to use it as debug mode i just wanted to create it with a normal info mode so i'll just keep it to false then save it and go back to our trial go back a step to main audit trail server bin directory now run setup underscore console dot patch file so once you have the trail server started or log 4 j message warning just press enter to get to osga prompt now run db install command it will ask you for prompt whether you do really like to install database yes so that's it let's see on a remote medium whether it's installed or not is my remote machine let's see whether pim 8 is installed yes it's installed 
with all the tables in case if you want to manually go with installation you can just try to install as table spaces or user or sch and schemas and uh, once you uh, run the script it will ask you for the update of this database then if you run the if you provide the a yes to the prompt then it will create the tables under the, uh, the schema which you have already created manually okay in case of Oracle you have a small change here let me show you that under Oracle server this template it will take same desktop start host desktop start server port username and password but the user which you provide is by default it's a sys as sys dba user and you need to provide the db dot sys dot password which is the password for sys user in case uh, so so in case if you provide the sys user password then it will create the db dot it will take the password of db dot sys dot password and will try to create a schemas in case if if there is a security issue of not providing the db dot sys dot password and you have any other user which has db created db creator or admin privileges same as sys as dba then you can use that user but you need to follow few changes just go to plugins auditel server dot setup conf script oracle scripts then go to connection sys script here by default it takes sys user so just in case if you have a user called name admin admin as a name with all the admin privileges then just remove this sys replace the sys word with your username the user is admin and remove the as sys db and save the script and run the dingo with db installation and provide the db.sys.password as the admin user password and then once you run the uh, setup on console.batch and go with the uh, database installation then it will be successful this is for uh, this is when you have a user other than sysdba user if you don't want to use sysdba you need to follow this approach so this is what uh, for Oracle user I have already shown you where I where you need to change the SQL script in case you don't want to use sys user as admin user uh, so by removing sys by replacing sys word with admin username which you have and the remove uh, under removal of as is tba text will work for you then for more information please contact my support.informatica.com for documentation kb related uh, things where you can see a lot of uh, uh, kb knowledge based articles on audit trial installation or audit trial troubleshooting and regarding feedback yes we would like to hear from you please subscribe to uh, support videos at the or you can follow us in twitter info support thank you